This sign says it all. We are going in the middle of nowhere, so we thought it would be a good time to gas up, right? We're like slightly tilted, right? So maybe we need to drive more up the lot. But we'll get it for dinner, after dinner. Hey. Daddy, it's yeah. on. What do you think? A little it's better than R2 right. drop, huh? It's on the log. Wow, man, this is gonna be fun. You guys see that family walking behind us? That's what we come out here for. We come out for experiences like they're having. That's a dad and two kids with fishing poles. You know, you can get these experiences by spending a lot of money, getting guides, getting you out to, you know, distant places. Or you can do what we did right here. This is the Escapod trailer. And when you rent trailers from people who know the outdoors and know the area, they're gonna open you up to opportunities like this. Like I had no idea this place even existed. You like it? Is it a good trailer? Is it Ryan East approved? I like that I could just stick the kids in the trailer, cook my dinner in peace for once. So before you guys come out, you can look on Escapod's website. And they're going to tell you everything they throw in this trailer for you. So it's pretty much they have everything you need. Just the basic things for cooking, for sleeping, everything to get you through. So like you can look through that list and see if there's just some like must-haves for you. So for like us, I don't even know if I can grab this. It's probably so hot already. You know me, I needed my little toaster. So I brought the toaster along, but in here, we have pots and pans, we have plates. Um, one thing I found out right away is that this is kind of neat too because it allows you to test things and try it out. So we've always been using plates made of like a plastic composite material, but we love the rounded edges. These plates here are metal. And I found out right away that something about the heaviness of this really is nice for out here cooking. So I think this is something we'll probably purchase in the future. So that's one benefit, just trying somebody else's uh, utensils, trying somebody else's bedding and pillows and you know, uh, gives you just a different perspective on camping. This water's boiling, May. Am I putting, uh, I'm not sure what you're making here. Eggs. Oh, this is eggs, okay, the eggs are boiling. So this also comes with a Yeti cooler. It was nice because like one block from the Escapod shop, I was able to go over, throw ice in this. Three bags of ice seem just right. And I'm also finding it's pretty neat. When you pull this out, it's just giving you more prep space. So I have all this prep space. This is a good trailer in terms of prep space. And then I pull this and it just extends it. So now I can just put things up here and here. It's a pretty good little system they have. Is that good food? No. <laughs> we don't make good food, huh? Right, right. Is it yummy? So yeah, after I'm done cooking, I'm just going to fill you in on everything that comes with this trailer. There's a bunch of stuff in here, nicely tucked away in these nice little drawers, and they have little container systems. And then there's some neat features I want to show you guys of just what this trailer can do for you out here. Ooh, Dinner yeah. Dinner is served. It's a little light on the vegetables. So do you need anything? But, you know, beans. We got everything you need? Yeah. Right, right. Come here, buddy. Are you stuck on a stage? Come on. So eat, sit down, buddy. Crisscross applesauce. Don't eat the seeds. Come on in. Oh. We go in the trailer. We go in the trailer and read our stories. A nap. Then take a big, oh, it's big beautiful. Walk. I don't ever get to stay out this lake. Right, I've been on in mom jail. Yeah, no, this is good. Been in Alaska, you know. Doesn't get light till like two o'clock. <laughs> if I did stay up late, yeah. I wouldn't see it. Hey, good morning. Why are you up in there asleep, huh? Why are you up in there asleep? So this is like a really quick walkthrough for you guys. Just giving you an idea, if you rent it, what you're going to be getting. So in this tongue box here, it has equipment to change your tire uh, because you're gonna be taking it some gnarly places. This thing has some high clearance. 
Uh, so you're going to be pushing it. And there may be a chance you have to change it out on the road. You have the chocks in here. You have the rubber mallet. Uh, there's probably a few other things I'm forgetting. But just basic things to maintain this while you're on the road. Inside this trailer, you have a queen size bed. Uh, May, East, Rye, and I, so four of us, slept in this last night. We were great. Um, we're co-sleepers, so we're not like a regular family. We can fit in a pretty tight place. And another thing I like to remind people is, you know, a queen bed at home, nobody's sleeping on the edge of it because you're gonna roll off. Well, in a teardrop, a queen bed actually feels bigger than a queen because you can get up to that edge and feel comfortable. But if you are like, expanding and exploding at the seams of this little trailer you can push people up into this rooftop tent and that's great so you can fit another three people probably up here uh three people in here comfortably so you could do a party of six pretty easy you also have a bat wing awning on the back that's gonna roll out so you can get shade during the day uh inside this trailer you're gonna have fully made bed it comes with pillows there's a battery in here that's going to run all the lights inside. It'll run this fantastic fan. So this is a fan that sucks in and can blow out. You also are going to be able to charge all your items. There's a bunch of USB ports all over. There's storage behind your head. There's storage all up here. It's a pretty good setup just to get out and go. And uh, because of all that storage, it's a lot easier to organize it for someone doing you know, your first trip a short trip. So I probably should mention the trailer in this video. This is a 2019 teardrop trailer from Escapod. The 21 models are slightly different. They've done upgrades on the fenders, upgrades on the solar. So if you're interested in purchasing one, you may want to look at their website after this video just to see those small differences. What's to cuddle? Cuddle time. Yeah, I want to cuddle. I'm down. Cuddle? Cuddle? Ah. Really? You want that close? Okay. So over here we have the shower next. This is going to hook up from a line, a water hose to your water out here. You're going to turn on your propane over here. It's going to heat up and come out nice and warm. Uh, there is not a shower tent. Uh, so you're going to be doing this out in the open. You know, you can do it in your swimming trunks or you can bring a little pop-up tent like us if you have one. I mentioned the propane. The propane here is going to heat this water for doing dishes if you want to with it, showering, but it's also going to be used here in the galley for the stove. And did I mention this is, I don't know how big the tank is, but I think they told us they put 20 gallons in here. So it's a large water tank. Here we have the galley. It is on gas springs, so it just opens right up. When the Escapod staff was doing the initial walkthrough with us of their trailer, they showed us a really neat feature of this integrated table. You unscrew this little black knob, and then you just replace it with a carabiner. And then what you do is just pull this out. This has to come out just a little bit to clear this notch. Okay. Then that just goes right in there. The carabiner on the other side. And then this can, you can just fully extend this out if you want the standing height one. Oh, okay, and then I think I'm getting this. You unlatch it, tip it down just a bit, and then pull it out of these little nubs. That is neat. Then this just oh, goes. Isn't that awesome? Just like. Nice. So it doesn't slide in, it just presses in. Yeah. And then you can adjust it. Okay. Like this. So just like that, and then you have a mount on either side as well. One is a sitting height table. All right, so the cutting board to get this meal started here is located right here, maybe behind the E. Yeah, you just switch that, yep. And this comes down, it holds in your stuff while you're driving, but now it's a cutting board. And then in here they throw in some paper towels. This is a dishwashing basin. Uh, excuse me for the mess, we've already thrown in our stuff, we've been out here, um, it's been a couple days. And then in that, they also had this. This is a um, drying rack, so it has these little slats in it for drying your dishes. And then in this cupboard here, they have uh, a couple wine glasses in here, some cups, and then deep in here, I'll show you it in some B-roll. They have this really nice um, French press. It's just huge, some coffee cups, uh, things to get you started in the morning. And then May, I'm assuming we need a knife here, huh? Yeah, I don't know. So this is where all the utensils are. It comes 
everything we've needed it's had so far right mm -hmm. may yeah. i i think there hasn't been anything that we would have brought has there pretty awesome yeah no i think we have they pretty much supplied us with everything and then the drawer below here it's some metal plates metal bowls these really nice pots for cooking cooking they're like a 10 inch pot and like an eight inch pot i would say Good for us and then back here, they just have the basic things like uh, dish soap, hand sanitizer, salt and pepper, a little first aid kit, some tissues. They provide you with garbage bags, pack it in, pack it out. Uh, we've been to two sites here in this area and both of them had a ton of garbage. So we like to bring extra bags so we can pack out the other stuff that's not ours as well. Okay, how do I turn on this stove? And so that is as easy as turning on this propane. Flipping this up, putting this on light, and it has a piezo. Oh, it was on. There it goes. And that one's on high. So there's two burners here on this stove. I don't even think you could put two in two 10 inch pans on at a time. Maybe two 10 inch pans, but definitely a 12 inch would be the only pan you could put on there. I like these little poles, so they're very overland worthy. So when you put them in, they're locked in, and it's just a little pull up on this. And you know, I'm always talking about drawers. Having drawers really helps keep you organized. And especially being this isn't your trailer, you don't have a very good system anyways when you're renting. So uh, this is by far one of the nicest ways to rent something when it has a good system of organization already built in. It just makes sense, the flow of this galley. So we had planned on doing kebabs, but this just seemed easier with what they provided here. And we have a fire ban today that just started, so anything that would be campfire cooking has moved to the gas grill. Here above May's head, you have a light, which was really nice last night for cooking when you pull into a site late. Uh, this thing just throws out a lot of light, and it's, um, I don't know, I can't, it's like a warm color, so it doesn't feel obnoxious, but it's not too diffused that you can't see the detail of your cooking. All right, I want to show you guys just one more thing up here in the front. And that is how they set you up for towing this with the tow vehicle you already own. Okay, first ignore these chains and everything. Uh, this is not good safety practice. I just moved the trailer a few feet. And so I, I put on the chains, but very haphazardly. So I just wanted to point out to you that when I showed up to Escapade, my uh, spare tire was causing some issues, you know, the trailer ball of mine was a bit close to the ball receiver and so they helped get mine extended out a bit they gave me a ball mount that was adjustable so we could get this a bit more leveled they have a team on hand that's going to get your vehicle set up to tow this as best as it can be okay, so we're just going to show you around the trailer and just make sure you're familiar with everything and um, are comfortable using it so up here we'll just go over So for all you teardrop owners, I have a playlist here for you, which is uh, teardrop trailer videos in general, tips and tricks. But if you're just new to this and trying to find out what type of small camper trailer is for you, I have a playlist here of fiberglass trailers, pop-up trailers, teardrops, off-road trailers, everything to help you have a better understanding of the market. Uh, guys, thanks for watching this one. Stay safe on the road and we'll see you in the next episode.